Well, it's the time of the show that I love. It's the daily three. That's three questions, three minutes. Take it away, Sam. All right. It's going to be all wild because the Minnesota Wild season is over. They lose in six games to the Blues. And last night, it was not close. A 5 1 defeat. They fell apart in the second period, down 4 0, and never stood a chance. So the big talking point yesterday Cam Talbot got the start. We'd been talking about it all series. When would Talbot start? Would he start at all? Kevin Gorg thought he might yesterday. Well, he did, and he struggled. So, Ron, is it time now to second-guess the decision to start Cam Talbot? Yes, yes. At this point, you might as well go on with Flory because we saw what he can do. He bounced back from games. He had a good, bad game, then bounced back, had a good game. Had a bad game, bounced back, had a good game. So, at that point, I didn't understand the purpose of that move. I get it. I get the thought process behind it. Like, hey, you know, it's game six. Let's try to mix it up. No, you've you've had a guy that has bounced back after every single turn. You know, whether he had a bad game and then in a good game, then he had a bad game and then a good game. And so, that's that I think that was the question mark. Now, now, yes, they did get two back to back wins. And maybe that was the, the scary thing of like, hey, like th that we've never had that. We've had a loss and then we've come back and had a win um, and we did not do that. So let's try something new. No, you, you don't throw a guy in there that hasn't played all series like he doesn't have a feel for what the speed of this game is. He doesn't have a feel for this team. He doesn't have the energy. Yes, he's a pro and he's supposed to step up and go in his next man up mentality. But I, I, I do think that was a bad one. Like, that was one where I kept saying, like, in, they should have bought him in in game two. Like, or, or, you know, parts of game one even. If the game is over, get him in there. Like, or if you're down three goals, get him in. Like, yes, at, at that point, you know you're losing anyway. Get him in. Get him between the pipes. Let him get sweaty. Let him get the feel for the speed. Let him get a feel for the players, where the guys are going to be, you know, how they're attacking, you know, what what is their frequency of rebounds on shots, like he could not get going. Like it's it it is a thing of feel. Like it's like in a basketball game. I say that to people all the time. Um, in any sport, like football, basketball, whatever you're playing, you baseball, you have to get a feel for the pitcher. You know, like I've seen that right now in softball, college softball. They're bringing girls off the bench to win the game in the last minute game as a DH, and they didn't. I've seen it twice. Minnesota did it uh, last week against uh, Sunday against Northwestern. Uh, in their softball game, they bought in the DH to try to make something happen, and then they screwed up because then the last girl up was a slap hitter, and she's not going to bang it out when they needed somebody to hit it far. And then I just saw Penn State, Nebraska, same thing. Penn State tried to bring in a girl, you know, cold off the bench. Hey, go get a hit for us because we're down three to one, and we need we need to get girls on base. That's not how you do it. You got to roll with the girls that have been in there. Keep the lineup the same at that point. When is that late in? Cam Talbot, he got screwed. Yeah, you know, it, Talbot was put in a bad spot, and the wild penalty kill all series just let him down. Two yeah. more power play goals last night. The, the the first one was way too easy. The guy's just sitting all by himself in the slot. Pretty disappointed with the wild defensive effort in this series. And when you look at it now, you know, in, in the rearview mirror, all four of the losses were by three goals or more. They got spanked yeah. in all those. So that uh, not, not an impressive effort by the wild. Let's keep it wild-focused. Kevin Fiala does not score a goal in the series, and he is now a free agent. So does his no-show in the playoffs, Ron, affect the way you negotiate with Fiala this offseason? 100%. Yeah. Why? I mean, th this, is, this is a league that any professional sport is, what have you done for me lately? And so they're going to bring that up. Like, that's that they definitely have to look at that. I mean, they're not going to throw it in his face. Like, oh, my God, like, where were you at? Um, but, yeah, I mean, I've seen – Twitter jokes about, you know, the missing posters and have you seen this guy, blah, blah. Yeah, like it, it, it is tough. This is a business that, you know, you have to show up every single week. I mean, think about Stefan Diggs. Stefan Diggs, $72 million contract was based off the Minneapolis Miracle. That was the last thing. That was the biggest moment, the, the remembering moment for them, for the fans, for Rick Spillman, for the organization is like, man, Stefan Diggs did that for us. Like that was a huge moment. Um and so when you when you go that route, that's where they thought, like, you know what, let's let's pay this guy like he's and he is worth the money. I'm not saying he's not. He's worth the money. But that's that's how that goes. You know, flip it where there's a guy that does not play well. He doesn't get that money. Look at the quarterback, all these quarterbacks that start off hot and then they get the playoffs and they absolutely don't either get there at the end or they can't. People are second guessing. Is this our quarterback? Is this the guy that's supposed to take us to the future? So, yeah, Fiala, they have to use that. Like, they're going to use it. I think, you know, he can also speak for himself. If he wants to be back with the Wild, he can explain and he can kind of talk through what he wants to do. And not him, but his agent. 
And, you know, let's see if there's a but there might be a team out there that needs his services. And so that's why the wild can also play. Don't play that 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 game of chicken uh with somebody that has leverage like he he can probably go to another team everybody kind of saw what kaprizov bought the, the crowd he bought the cameras he bought the highlights so other guys on the ice got notoriety people got to know them got to see them when you're in the playoffs as well the world gets to see you um so yeah so so don't so don't be don't be uh thinking that nobody else wants them like they want playoff caliber players on their roster as well like hey if we get this guy and we make him a focal point uh, he can he can he can get us to the playoffs. So no, I, I think it's going to be used, but also say I wouldn't play that game. If you want them, just pay them. Like just just mark it up and say this happened and move on. Yeah, I, his regular season numbers are going to attract a lot of attention on the market, I think. And if that price gets too high, the Wild don't have a ton of money. I could see them saying, you know what, you didn't deliver for us in the postseason. We're not going to to match that offer. Last yeah. one, Ron. Are you still going to continue watching the NHL and NBA playoffs? Now that the local teams are out, and if so, do you have any teams uh, or any predictions for who you think wins it all? Uh, NHL, nah. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna watch a little bit, probably here and there. Uh, no, I have no idea. I mean, I'm going off of off what people are saying. Avalanche are one of the better teams, so you know, or the Hurricanes. So I'm gonna go between those two, the Hurricanes or the Avalanche, to win it. Um, but no, I'm not gonna be glued to my TV watching other hockey. Uh, I do like the Wild. I got hooked on it going to that game. So that's the only reason I watched it. Um, basketball. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a basketball guy. Like I'm a hooper. Like, I mean, literally when I, when I go to lunch break, you know, if I go work out, I'm going to hoop. Like that's what I do. So I'm gonna watch it. Um, not a ton. Cause I got kids that have sports and my, both my kids are in softball. They're both in track. So like this weekend we have like a track meet and a volley and a softball tournament. Um, so, so my time goes to my kids, you know, I, I and that's why I rarely get a chance. I have to record sports, um, to talk about it the next day, but, um, except for football, they know football that, Daddy has to be at all the football games. But other than that, no, I'm I'm there first. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna watch. So basketball wise, I'm keeping an eye on the Suns Mavs because that's an interesting one now. If, if the Mavs mm -hmm. can win this, that makes it a little bit easier for the Warriors. Um, I think the Warriors are the way they're built with that death lineup. I think they have it, have it going. Uh Jimmy Butler in the heat. Why? Because they are done and waiting. Everybody else still has one or two more games uh in order to get to the heat. And so that's that's what's crazy, is they're rested. Uh, they're going to be sitting back waiting for the next team to want to play them. Uh, and Jimmy Butler is pissed off. Yeah, I saw him make the comment about Tobias Harris over me. Tobias Harris over me. Like, he doesn't forget. So I know, you know, he's probably laughing and snickering at the Timberwolves being out. And like, hey, you you guys thought I wasn't going to try to make you tough. Anthony Edwards is trying to make you tough. Patrick Beverly tried to make you tough. You guys just, just didn't like the way I did it. And I think that's that. And, and of course, the coach probably wasn't the right fit. But, you know, Jimmy Butler was a right fit. I just think the way it was done. It wasn't the best uh, at that time. Uh, and maybe Wiggins and, and Levine. I think Wiggins was the one. Levine, I think Levine and Carlin D. Towns and Jimmy Butler could have got it done. I think that's the should have been the way that they went um, and moved on from Wiggins. But, hey, because Wiggins needs – like, Wiggins needs Anthony Edwards. Like, he needs a shooting star. He needs somebody to take pressure and space away from him so that he has complete space to operate, and that's why he's doing well with the, with the uh, Warriors. And so, yeah, I'm going to keep watching it because there's some good matchups still out there. And like I said – the way Luca has come back and wheeled his way to win and, you know, he makes the game play at his own pace, it's amazing. So, no, and, and winning that, yeah, I'd say I, right now I'm going to go with Heat Warriors. I think that might be the finals. I'm cheering for the Suns to win game seven because I think Suns Warriors would be an unbelievable Western Conference Finals. Yeah, the would. Suns are sort of that that rising team with Booker and Aiton. The Warriors obviously are the dynasty. Um, but then I'm also cheering for the the winner of the Bucks and Celtics to to get past the Heat because I just like those teams. I think the Celtics are really fun, and the Bucks are the defending champs. I would love to see them back in the finals as well.